lives of all youth. He understands the importance of investing into our young people's dreams. He spent 12 years as a Marine, where he developed a great work ethic. He also worked as a police detective for 11 years, which taught him the importance of working with the community and spent six years as an Army drill sergeant, where he mastered the skill of motivating. These collective skills are just he shares with men and women through positive mentoring, coaching, and motivational speaking. He believes that regardless of who you are, where you come from, or what your current situation is, we are all created with the ability to achieve great success. His quote, surround yourself with champions, is a positive message he shared with thousands across America. His speech tonight is from the Advanced Professional Speaker Manual titled, Bringing Out the Greatness in You. Please welcome Drill Sergeant Tim Small. <laughs> I was 
listening to Jim Rohn as I normally do every day. Jim Rohn is a motivational speaker. He's a mentor of mine. He's dead now for three years, but I still listen to him, so I call him a mentor. I found one. That's just one of them. But Jim Rohn says the definition of greatness is finding a way to serve many people. He says that one of the greatest quotes, and he says that JFK, when he said, and we all learned this in school, don't ask what your country can do for you, but ask, what can I do for my country? Serve many people. This is the best place to slice bread. Nobody's trying to take boats and get to Cuba. The Cubans are trying to come to America, right? It's the greatest place on the planet. Entrepreneurship, capitalism at its best, right? A better way of life. Nobody's trying to jump into the Philippines, but people are trying to sneak into the United States. Why? Because they see greatness here. They see greatness for themselves, they see greatness for their families, and they want to take advantage of that American dream. So, first, we got to find a way to serve many people. Now, if you're in sales, how many people has ever been involved in sales? If you sell to five people, you get paid according to what you do in the workplace, right? You get paid according to your value to the workplace. So if you sell to five people, you get paid that, just a little bit. But if you sell to 500, you get a little bit more. If you sell to 5,000, you get a little bit more. If you can sell to 5 million, well, you start to see something in your check, don't you? So the same thing happens, people. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you run a nonprofit organization, the more people you serve, the more that you have to offer and leave your mark on this planet. Then two, the next way to bring out the greatness in you is
No, he's not. He's going to adapt to his environment. Okay? Now, humans adapt to their environment. You know, we don't grow extra fur. Humans don't grow extra fur, but we adapt to the people that surround us, don't we? I guarantee you, Vince, you introduce me to your five closest friends, I'll tell you who you are. I'll tell you where you hang out. I'll tell you how much money's in your bank account. I'll tell you how good you are or how bad you are. You can't be wanting to hang out and be an eagle and hang out in pigeon school and learn how to be an eagle. Don't happen, well, does it? It's your environment, people. So those three things right there are your key to greatness. Find a way. I don't care what it is. Whatever your idea, you have ideas that want to, you know, Bill Gates had an idea to put computers in people's homes. People thought that was crazy because computers just used to take up the whole room. Imagine if you listen to somebody saying, don't do that, that's stupid. Imagine the guy that had the pitch, we're going to put water into these little clear things and put blue labels on them and sell them for a dollar a piece when it was free. Imagine that guy getting into the conference room and trying to sell that 10 years ago. We've got a whole generation of kids that if you pour water out of the faucet, they'll look at you like you got three heads. It'll never happen. So don't tell me. You can't listen to nobody what they're telling you. Have your idea and run with it. Find your way. It might not be the way that everybody else does. See, I can't serve millions of people through fundraising, because that's not my thing. I can't serve millions of people through a nonprofit, because that's not my thing. See, I can't, if I open up a restaurant tomorrow, it'll be closed <laughs> tomorrow. Because <laughs> I don't have a clue about running a restaurant. But find out what your niche is, and take that thing and figure out a way to serve this many people as you can, and I guarantee you, you will find your greatness. So with that being said, it's been a fun police and pleasure, as well as a privilege, and Mr. Toastmaster is all yours.